just in general, we in the West and and really in the Anglosphere, we're starting to talk more freely mm. than we have in the years prior. And there's no one single event that you can point to other than the 44 billion US dollar purchase of Twitter by Elon Musk that set all this into motion because him doing that created a new mainstream platform mm. that did finally allow, or I should say re-allow, freedom of speech. And because of that, it set a domino effect in motion to the point where uh, you can go on X right now and find Elon Musk, the richest man in the world, having conversations about the battlefront in Ukraine, which, by the way, I'm sure Elon could name three provinces off the yeah. top of his head because he's constantly having conversations with people about this. Mm. Um, and they're and they're going back and you'll get into arguments over what the real line of contact is, et cetera, et cetera. And so this has become a... A chain reaction. It set off a chain reaction for these conversations and for these. Um, you know, I, mm. I I I struggle to say a rightward shift. Right? People want to say it's a rightward shift, and in a sense, it is. But that's only because things had gone so far to the left. To the left, yeah. And because I agree. the left had a, had a had a total monopoly on not only the not only the institutions, but also the distribution networks of information. So if you control distribution networks of information, you control the pipelines, you mm -hmm. control the flow, now you control everything. Yeah. This is how things were up until Elon purchased X. But now that he has it, it is one of the largest distribution networks, decentralized distribution networks in the world for the ability for, it's, it's basically sort of the world's open sandbox uh, group chat. It's just a mm. global group chat that everybody can be involved in at any time. And so you, and you can block people and you can mute people. I certainly block a lot of people. Yes. And a lot Some, of people have sometimes me blocked Sometimes you got to have, um, you got to block sometimes. <laughs> and so, and so the, the, the real glory of it is that it is the one place where you can just interact with anybody on the entire planet instantaneously. Yeah. And the reason that is so powerful is because it disintermediates everything else that we have out there. Yeah. Uh, I, I wrote a book in 2017 about Trump's victory, his original victory. And I said, it was Trump's embrace of Twitter that brought him to the forefront. Just like in American history, we had FDR utilized radio in the 1930s when it mm. first came out, JFK with television in the 1960s, and then Donald Trump with social media in 2016. You cannot separate those. Mm -hmm. And you know, of course, nobody likes to give him credit for this. But if you look at it in terms of a communications device, because it is interactive, it is instantaneous, it is the new media. I mean, we just don't even have any, what was radio before radio? What was TV before TV? What was social media before social media? It Definitely. is something fundamentally new and something fundamentally different. It is not, uh, it is, you know, Henry Ford once had that comment about, um, you know, well, if I if I asked my customers what they would have wanted before I designed the first car, he said, he said, if I asked my customers what they would have wanted, they would have said a faster horse. Yeah, right. So, <laughs> exactly. so when you're creating something, when something you're creating something brand new, totally new, you can't compare it to anything, right? You can't no. compare it to anything that came before. No, which and is so that's what Twitter has been. Yeah, and I think that I think the world is finally starting to catch up to that. I th I think I think so too, and I, I think it was just wonderfully serendipitous that Elon stepped in when he did because he recognized a problem. He recognized exactly what you just outlined, which is that the channels of communication were just strangled by the left and thought, no, Twitter is the public square. It's been turned into something else. I want to bring it back uh, to what it was. And you're right, Trump Trump embraced that, and and more power to him.